The theme of this painting is um, Lady Macbeth. And I was approached a couple of months ago to do a show, a themed show, um, called You Never Dine Alone. And the challenge of the show is to create a painting, a portrait of somebody recognizable, like a character recognizable, but using, like, for me, I decided to use myself because that's just often what I do, is paint myself. And, um, turn it into like a, a synthesis of myself and this character. And uh, I chose Lady Macbeth because she's quite a complicated character. I mean, she's the villain, but at the same time she does at some point in the play express remorse even though it's just through sleeping and um, I think you know there's there's a saying that you can you can hurt somebody and they'll forget but you never will and I thought of that saying when I chose Lady Macbeth as my theme. And uh, I'm not even sure why. Maybe I've got a few demons of my own. I'm sure I do. <laughs> and a bit about the technical process. Um, I began this with a drawing that I did in front of a mirror. I spent I worked on it over several weeks, and um, once I was done the drawing, I transferred it using charcoal onto this canvas. Once I was satisfied with the the uh, shape and size and all that stuff, and then uh, I began painting it when uh, I was doing my residency here, just right here in front of the mirror like this. Um, I prefer working from life whenever possible. You, the camera just doesn't see what a person sees. The camera doesn't feel and it doesn't, it doesn't have good days and bad days and it sort of just has one eye and it sees, sees the world kind of through this reduced and muted vision and when I look at things I see so much more than what the camera sees I'm just I walk around in awe all the time of the visual world like just it's hard for me to drive if you ever see me driving down the road you might want to pull over and just let me go by because I it's just the world is such an amazing and beautiful place to me I can't um, everything is crying out for my attention equally it's just and that is one of the things that drives me to paint in the first place is just to um, it's like a combination of a need like I don't have a choice um, I've never had a choice in life of being a painter or not. It's, it's like I was born to be a painter. I automatically gravitated towards painting and painting in this style and pursuing what I need to, needed to pursue to uh, express what I wanted to express. And I still work on that. That's a, day, that's a struggle every time I come to the canvas is how to express it and how to do it in a way that still keeps keeps me interested in doing it